Prepare to be captivated by the story of the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, a technological marvel that redefined aerial warfare. This B-2 Spirit Stealthy Avenger of Operation Midnight Hammer Exploration unveils the secrets behind this $2 billion aircraft. From its Cold War origins to its unmatched stealth capabilities, buckle up as we dive into the legacy of the B-2 Spirit. In the dead of night, a whisper slices through the air, unseen and unheard. This elusive phantom penetrates even the world's most sophisticated air defenses. The B-2 Spirit, at a staggering $2 billion per aircraft, stands as the most expensive plane ever built. How does a 50-meter-wide giant become invisible to radar? And why does it look like it flew straight out of a sci-fi movie? This exploration unveils the secrets of the B-2 Spirit, the stealth bomber that revolutionized global security. The context of the B-2 Spirit's development is rooted in the Cold War, a time when geopolitical tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union reached its peak. The year is 1975, and the Cold War is at its frostiest, with the game of nuclear chess between these two superpowers reaching a critical point. Picture squadrons of massive B-52 Stratofortress bombers poised on alert at strategic air bases, each loaded with enough firepower to level entire cities. But how can they survive the evolving threat? These aircraft were in constant flight or on high alert, ready to take off at a moment's notice, forming a critical part of America's nuclear deterrent. B-52 bombers flew out of bases like Shepard Air Force Base in Texas, with their routes varying year by year. Typically, these routes extended over regions such as the Canadian Arctic, Alaska, Greenland, and the Mediterranean Sea. However, the Soviets were not standing still. They developed advanced air defense systems that could intercept and destroy these flying fortresses, rendering them vulnerable. As one Air Force general aptly summarized, sending B-52s into Soviet airspace would be akin to throwing a rock at a hornet's nest while wearing a bright red target on one's chest. Faced with the need to counter increasingly sophisticated defenses, the United States recognized that it was time to change the game entirely. This realization led to the inception of the Advanced Technology Bomber Program, or ATB. The goal was to create a bomber capable of slipping past Soviet defenses undetected delivering its payload before the enemy even knew it was there. This task was akin to trying to build an invisible elephant, a seemingly impossible challenge that had engineers scratching their heads. The endeavor was not solely about maintaining military superiority. It was about preserving the delicate balance of power that kept the Cold War from escalating into open conflict. The entire concept of nuclear deterrence relies on the ability to strike back if attacked. If the Soviets believed they could neutralize America's bomber fleet, the risk of a first strike would increase dramatically. Little did anyone know, the solution to this problem had been envisioned decades earlier, only to be quite literally smashed into pieces. Rewinding to 1946, at the end of World War II. While America was focused on building cars and suburban houses, one man was obsessed with a different kind of construction. Jack Northrup and his vision of the flying wing. He envisioned an aircraft that consisted solely of wings. No fuselage, no tail just one sweeping aerodynamic shape. This design looked like something out of a sci-fi magazine, and Northrop was convinced it represented the future of aviation. 
In 1947, Northrop's dream took flight in the form of the YB-49, a massive jet-powered flying wing with a 50-meter wingspan. The aircraft was revolutionary, ahead of its time, but without modern computers to assist with stability control, the YB-49 proved to be as stable as a unicycle on a tightrope. The Air Force was not impressed, and in a decision that felt like a gut punch to Northrop, they ordered all YB-49s destroyed in 1949. This decision highlights the aggressive research and development approach of the U.S. Department of Defense. Fast forward to 1978, the Air Force initiates the ATB program, looking for a bomber that can penetrate the most heavily defended airspace undetected. The contract was awarded to none other than the Northrop Corporation, as if the flying wing had risen from the ashes, ready for its second act. This time, armed with decades of technological advancements and a blank check from the U.S. government, Northrop was poised to turn the impossible into reality. The question arose, how does one make a 100-ton aircraft with a wingspan as wide as a football field invisible to radar? First, let's discuss the iconic shape of the B-2 Spirit. The aircraft looks as if it flew straight out of a sci-fi movie for a reason. This design is not just visually striking. Every curve and angle serves a crucial purpose. Unlike conventional aircraft with distinct fuselages and tails, the B-2 is essentially one continuous wing. This design provides two essential benefits. It grants the B-2 an incredibly low radar cross-section. Stealth speak for really hard to spot, and excellent aerodynamic efficiency, which is crucial for an aircraft designed to fly halfway around the world without breaking a sweat. Zooming in on the B-2's materials that grant its stealth capabilities reveals the magic happening on the surface. The B-2 skin is coated with top-secret radar-absorbent materials specially designed to absorb radar energy rather than reflect it. This unique feature is akin to the B-2 wearing an invisibility cloak, made from materials so classified that revealing them could lead to serious consequences. As illustrated in radar cross-section diagrams, even the construction of the B-2 contributes to its stealthiness. The aircraft's skin comprises large, smooth panels with minimal seams. Every edge, every corner, and every tiny imperfection could potentially reflect radar waves. The design ensures that the B-2's exterior resembles a sleek sports car. No rough edges, no sharp corners, while managing to evade detection. However, Flying wings are inherently unstable without a tail. They tend to yaw and pitch, which means they can tilt to the sides. To solve this, the B-2 employs a fly-by-wire system. This advanced computer control system makes constant adjustments to the aircraft's control surfaces, maintaining stability during flight. The sophistication of this system allows the B-2 to perform maneuvers that would be unthinkable for a plane of its size. The B-2 is powered by four General Electric F-118 GE-100 turbofans, which are cleverly concealed within the aircraft's body. The intakes are hidden on top of the wing to reduce radar detection. The exhaust is cooled and spread over a wide area to the rear of the aircraft, minimizing its infrared signature. This design allows the B-2 to operate stealthily, akin to tiptoeing through the sky while leaving no footprints. 
The aircraft is primarily constructed from carbon graphite composite materials, lightweight, strong, and about as radar transparent as possible without being physically invisible. The aircraft was built in separate sections and then meticulously assembled, where precision akin to that of a Swiss watchmaker was essential. One tiny misalignment could turn a multi-billion dollar stealth bomber into a radar reflector. When the B-2 was unveiled on November 22, 1988, it was a glimpse of the future. As it rolled out of the hangar, the world witnessed a technological marvel. The technological array packed into this flying wonder is awe-inspiring. With over 130 onboard computers controlling every element of the aircraft, the B-2 is not just ahead of its time, it operates in a league of its own. It combines various techniques to achieve near invisibility. Its shape confuses radar, its materials absorb radar energy, and its electronic countermeasures jam enemy detection systems. The result is an aircraft with a radar cross-section a thousand times smaller than that of a B-52, making it nearly impossible to detect. When the B-2 made its maiden flight on July 17, 1989, it proved that all this advanced engineering was not merely theoretical. The aircraft could fly, and fly exceptionally well. It represented the culmination of decades of work from Jack Northrup's early experiments to the cutting-edge technology of the 1980s. The B-2 Spirit was not just a new aircraft, it was a revolution in aviation, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. In addition to its stealth capabilities, the B-2 Spirit is a highly capable asset designed for missions deep into hostile territory. It can carry an impressive payload of 20 tons of bombs. To put that into perspective, it's like squeezing 10 sedans into its belly. Moreover, the B-2 is integral to America's nuclear deterrent strategy. For non-apocalyptic missions, it can carry up to 8,500 pounds of GPS-guided bombs, enabling precision strikes on 80 different targets in a single sortie. For more ambitious missions, it can deploy specialized weapons such as the GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator, weighing 15 tons. This bunker buster is essentially a small building that can be dropped on other buildings, demonstrating the Air Force's capability to strike deep regardless of how fortified the target is. The B-2's operational range is another impressive aspect of its design. On a single tank of gas, it can fly over 11,000 kilometers, comparable to flying from New York to Moscow and still having enough fuel to circle the Red Square a few times. With aerial refueling, its operational range is essentially anywhere on Earth, allowing it to show up uninvited to a party halfway around the world and leave before anyone notices. While the B-2 is not designed for speed, it does cruise at about 101 kilometers per hour at high altitudes. This speed may not break records, but it is important to remember that the B-2 is a bomber, not a fighter jet. Its operational strategy focuses on a slow, silent approach rather than flashy flybys. Additionally, the B-2 can reach altitudes of 50,000 feet almost twice the height of Mount Everest. Operated by a crew of two, one pilot and one mission commander, these individuals are not just flying the aircraft, they are managing a suite of state-of-the-art avionics and mission planning systems that are in a league of their own. Interestingly, if the GPS goes down, the B-2 can navigate using the stars it is designed to operate in all weather conditions, day or night, thanks to its advanced radar system, which allows for terrain following and avoidance maneuvers automatically. The cost of having such a sophisticated bomber in the fleet is staggering. 
each B-2 costs about 2 billion US dollars, which exceeds the entire GDP of some small countries. To illustrate that, one could buy approximately 5,000 average American homes for the price of just one B-2. The high cost can be attributed to a perfect storm of factors. The technology is cutting edge, featuring materials and systems that are likely to remain classified for the foreseeable future. The exclusivity factor also plays a role, with only 21 ever having been built. Maintenance of the radar-absorbing skin is another budget consideration as it requires regular reapplication. Furthermore, the B-2 has undergone constant upgrades, evolving to become far more advanced than the original model that rolled out in the 1980s. Supporters of the B-2 argue that its unique capabilities justify the high cost. After all, how does one place a price on the ability to strike anywhere on Earth without detection? However, even stealth aircraft face the inevitabilities of aging. The Air Force is already eyeing its replacement, the B-21 Raider, envisioned as the next evolution of stealth technology. The B-21 Raider is designed to fulfill multiple roles as an intercontinental strategic bomber and intelligence collection hub connected to a larger network making it the first sixth-generation aircraft of its kind. The B-21 Raider aims to be smaller, more affordable, and easier to maintain than its predecessor, allowing for the manufacturing of a much larger fleet. The future of aerial warfare is evolving, and the B-2 Spirit, with its groundbreaking design and unmatched capabilities, has paved the way for the next generation of stealth technology. The legacy of the B-2 spirit is profound, showcasing human ingenuity in overcoming challenges and pushing the boundaries of what is possible in military aviation. As technology continues to advance, the lessons learned from the B-2 spirit will undoubtedly influence the design and development of future aircraft. The journey of the B-2 spirit serves as a reminder of the relentless pursuit of innovation and the significance of maintaining a balance of power in an ever-evolving geopolitical landscape.